everyone at Ball State kind of knows to stay away from them, so everyone warns you to stay away from them, so I would just say, if you can find something else, I would. That's gross. I don't want to move into someone else's filth. Well, that was last year when we investigated a Muncie property company housing Ball State students in poor conditions and making them pay to clean up. This year, Ball State is trying to point students toward landlords that offer better quality of life. Fox 59's Hannah Fullman takes us to Ball State to break down this new initiative. 20,000 students are preparing to start classes here at Ball State University very soon. And students here tell us one of the top priorities in starting a new school year is to have safe and affordable housing options. That's just the path you take. You stay on campus first year and then you go off. Thousands of students like McCarty Elliott are transitioning from living in the dorms to moving into their very own apartments and off-campus homes. I'm pretty excited. I'm glad to be in my own space and it actually seems cleaner than the dorms now at this point. But in the past, students were not always this excited to be living off campus. Last year, students voiced concerns about cleanliness and bad living conditions in some of the off-campus housing options. But now the university is launching a new off-campus quality housing initiative to make sure students do not face these problems again. I think that the transition between high school and college is so significant that if you're also stressed about where you're living and if it's clean, if it's safe, that adds so much added stress than there already is with, you know, a new place you're living. The new initiative focuses on connecting students with high quality landlords and property management companies near the university to find the best living options. And to participate in this program, landlords must meet a series of requirements before being accepted. The document has, um, it's actually 12 different agreements. It includes that it's going to be delivered uh, clean and well kept, that the properties are going to be in compliance with health and housing codes. And if landlords are not meeting these requirements. We do have the right to remove someone if we get a pattern of behavior. We learn from students that what they've agreed to isn't happening. Um, that's something that we don't want to have to remove someone for, but we absolutely reserve that right. Students say the importance of clean and safe living spaces is one of the keys to their success going forward at the university. It's hard to start off in like a dirty place and then go to school and then have to come back and deal with your dirty places better to come back feel safe be able to do what you want to do hang out with friends and not have to worry about coming into a already dirty and unsafe space some students have already moved into their off-campus housing and many others will be moving in soon classes start here a week from monday reporting in muncie hannah fullman fox 59 news